This next deck is a green black delirium deck from Shadows over Innistrad, though it does have some Eldritch Moon stuff as well. This is a deck formed from a preformed deck that had most of the major players here, but with extra cards we've gotten, we've kind of put in more ways to get Delirium. Now, if you're not familiar, Delirium is a situation in which there are four different card types in your battlefield, and once that happens, other cards in your deck have perks or whatever. They suddenly become better cards. So this deck is fun. It is fast, and you definitely want to have certain things happen by... I'd say the midpoint of the game or you're not going to have a good time. For one thing, you need to get Delirium for this deck to be effective. Most of, most of its big guns require Delirium to explode out of control. So those big guns in this point in time are Soul Swallower and a Inexorable Blob. Essentially, if Delirium is going on Inexorable Blob, um, once it attacks, it creates another version of itself. If you power that first version up at all, it's going to be hard to contain because suddenly you've got blob after blob after blob showing up. Um, I think there's one of each in the original deck, and we happen to get another one of each, so now they're there. Soul Swallower. It is a 3 3 with trample, but if there's delirium, every turn it gets three counters. So that can be a problem real quick. A couple other things to boost up some of the stuff in the later game. Is Dusk Feaster, which is a five if you have Delirium and is four five five flying, so it helps out with some power on the back end. And also Kindly Stranger. Kindly Stranger uh, transforms into a witch, basically. And when it transforms, it can destroy an opposing creature. So that is good, as I don't think there's a lot of destroy cards in this deck. It's mostly all about getting to that Delirium. So some of the card other cards that that uh, like to have Delirium include a Gnarlwood Dryad, we just have one of these. It's a Death Touch, that can be a 3-3 with Delirium. Tooth Collector, which can place negative one counters on your opponent. It's not as useful, but it fits in with the theme. Obsessive Skinner, which actually powers up your cards if you have Delirium, which can be very good. And Moldgraf Scavenger, which is a good defender at first, and then powers itself up a little bit more once you get Delirium. But Delirium is really important, so there's a bunch of cards in here which help with that. And again, I will say that it's four different card types in the battle uh, in the graveyard. So there are cards that help discard things at the beginning, and there are cards that have different types which help you get to Delirium. So Pale Rider of Trostan. Trostan is one of those cards that can discard cards. I have noticed there definitely is a time where you can discard too many cards, and that's a little, little bad news, so you got to be careful. There's Explosive Apparatus, which you can use to, I guess, deal some damage, but also it puts an artifact in the graveyard, which is a rarer type to get in this one. We've got a Grim Flayer, which is a new card. I haven't gotten to use that much, but uh, he's mythic, actually. But when he does damage, he can essentially help set up Telerium. There's Wildfield Scarecrow, which, if it gets into the graveyard, is both a creature and an artifact. So that's half of Delirium right there. You got Crop Sigil, which can discard cards. Autumnal Gloom, which does the same and transforms into a powerful creature once you get Delirium. Dead Weight is an enchantment that can easily be in the graveyard. And then two of the cards that actually uh, help the most are very basic cards. One of them is Fork in the Road. Not only does it get you a land, it will put one in the graveyard. So that fulfills one of the conditions, and then since it's a sorcery and gets discarded, hey, that's two of them right there. There's also Vessel of Nascency, an enchantment card, which, once it's sacrificed, becomes one of your requirements and can also help you get other ones as well. So there's a lot going on in this deck, but it's pretty fun. I have noticed there was a lot of options at our disposal to have some that could go in this deck at this point in time, but I'm not sure there's the space for it, but green-black delirium, very fun.